Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the 100 Dragon Challenge. So with this one, we have a little bit of a different inspiration that we're drawing from. A potato. <laughs> so for some context, over on my Twitch channel, I call my community my little tater tots. And so we have a whole potato theme kind of going over there when someone subscribes or uh, follows, they're a part of the potato chip instead of like a ship, it's a potato chip. And then everyone's called my little tater tots. So we just kind of have a potato theme going over there. Long story short, my heritage, I'm Irish. So it's a joke just because of potatoes. And that's literally all it came from, but it has gained quite a bit of popularity over there and also on the Discord. So I'm gonna kind of bridge the two communities together today by drawing the potato dragon. So what this is, is I made an animated GIF, which I will put right here, of the potato dragon that is a part of my Twitch streams. But then also it's been used with uh, some of the emotes over on Discord and just overall adds to the potato theme. So I wanted to officially bring this dragon into the 100 dragon challenge series. So today we'll be drawing my potato dragon. So I've already made the gif of him in the past, so we don't really have to do the sketches, like, you know, brainstorming, because I already like the design that he has, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump in and do a really fun dynamic pose for this dragon. So let's jump in. All right, let's get this potato dragon started. So I know there was a ton of comments requesting a potato dragon because it's kind of bled over from the Twitch and the Discord that we have a very potato themed going on. Especially over in the Discord, we call it the Potato Palace. And for a while we had all of um, the chat rooms named after different like parts of the court and we had some more potato jokes, but sadly it just got a little bit too confusing for new members. So it's very much still straightforward with all the, uh, the community tabs and chat rooms and th such, but the overall theme is still Potato Palace and we for sure heavily lean into the idea of potatoes. So we were kind of brainstorming on Twitch where this potato dragon basically originated from. By the way, his name is Spud. He is the best Spud bud. I love my Spud. Anyway, where Spud originated from was on the Twitch chat. I was basically telling everyone I wanted to change my intro and outro screens on Twitch because while I did like me riding on a dragon like crazy awesome adventure style, um, what was it, Braveheart? Yeah, Braveheart style, that was the movie. Um, I liked that one, but it was starting to get outdated and I wanted something more active and lively and animated. And we were like, why don't we do the potato dragon? Because we already have like the call for making a potato dragon. That was already a thing for the 100 dragon challenge. And we've been really leaning into the potato theme. And we already had a potato um, emote made by one of my wonderful mods over on Discord. So it's like, we just might as well keep making more potato dragons. So I worked on the emote design and I wanted to make that the actual 100 Dragon Challenge video. That was my first intention. I recorded the step-by-step uh, -step process of me creating the GIF, but I ended up not recording all of it. So I was like, you know, this wouldn't really make a very fun video for YouTube. Honestly, like it, it was only half of the production of it. You didn't get to see everything I did. And I was like, I think I should just redraw it and make it in the style of the 100 Dragon Challenge. Because with the 100 Dragon Challenge, we're making it with the Copics and the Micron pens. I was like, we should just do that. Let's just stick with that and make it match the other dragons in the challenge and really lean into the look of that. So when I was designing this guy, I really wanted to try something very active looking and kind of like spazzy and fun and just a very different pose. And I've actually been thinking about this pose for a while. I've been trying to figure out what dragon I wanted to put in it because depending on the dragon, it can make the pose a little bit difficult. And I wanted it to be kind of like a thin 
kind of very hyper energetic looking dragon. And I thought it felt, fit really well with the potato dragon. His design was perfect to be able to pull off this pose. And it just, it was really fun. It reminds me of a weird like jumping cat type of pose, I guess you could say. Um, and I had a lot of fun making it. And then it worked really well on the paper too, because Spud has these little wings. Like for sure, he is not a dragon that could probably fly based off of his wings. Maybe ha he has like magical flying potato powers, who knows? But at least solely on his wings, he would not be able to fly. So I just imagine him doing these really doofy, like big jumps and just being a spaz and I love him. And I just think this is such a fun design for him. So I finished up the initial line work and I was getting ready to color and I already had some colors picked out from the GIF, but I, I basically had to figure out how to convert my GIF colors to the Copic colors I have. Also one random thing that I'm having trouble with is my Copics are running out of ink and some of them aren't produced anymore. So now I'm trying to figure out what to do because some of my yellows, I cannot find refills for even on the official Copics website. I don't know if they're just not making that one anymore or it's just out of stock. But yeah, some of my colors are running very low, which is apparent once I start coloring. The brown that I picked for the primary brown of my potato dragon, sadly was pretty low on ink. So I'm just specifying that now because while I'm coloring, it doesn't look terrible, but it does look a little splotchy just because it it's starting to run out of ink. It's not as juicy of a pen. So I need to order a refill for that one. And then a couple of my greens and yellows, I guess I use those a ton. So those also need a refill, but basically, sorry, long tangent with me saying, please forgive the colors because this one just was a little splotchy. I mean, it kind of works for a potato anyway, because potatoes aren't like a perfect brown through the whole thing. They usually have like at least some different shades and variations. And then they have like spots on them and different like scratches on them that make each potato kind of unique. So I'm just gonna go with that. Even though it wasn't the exact look that I was planning for, you know, cause the, the pen was just running out. It worked for a potato. And I, I really think he's super cute. So now with all my base brown laid in, it was time to go in and add a little bit extra shadows to my character and kind of give it a little bit more definition. Here again was where I ran into some issues because I tried my darker brown and it was like very dead. I knew I needed to save one of my dark browns for the spots that I wanted to apply to the body overall to add some different weird spots and texturing like you would see on a potato. Um, so I didn't want to use it for the shading as well. And my other brown was pretty dead. So I just made do with what I could for the shadows. And I think it, it turned out well. I think it looks good um, and just adds a little bit of extra definition that is needed to the overall like character. I had a lot of fun going in and adding all these spots and random characteristics to the potato. I actually had the potato that I showed in the beginning of the video nearby so I could be like, oh, what do these random spots look like? And I noticed some had some more darker divots or there was more like scratches that were made on the potato and other like details that I didn't really get in the GIF because it would have been awful to animate a GIF with a million spots like this. Like I am not to that level of animation yet, but for sure I can do it 
for an illustration. I was totally ready and willing to add it to the illustration. And I think he's starting to look very cute. I added a little bit more of like a yellow tint to his horn and like, I'm gonna call them like potato slicers that are on the end of his tail. I know that's kind of dark to think like maybe this potato dragon slices up other potato dragons with his like crazy potato slicer tail, but that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, basically I added a little bit of yellow to that and the horns to add a little bit of dimension to it and some shading as well. And then I really liked the yellow that I got for the belly and the wings, but this one again is running out of ink. I have just this little pile of Copics that I'm like, I'll order these refills eventually. <laughs> <laughs> they are on my list of things to get. And then in the GIF, I didn't have an eye color for him, so I chose green. I thought it was really cute to have that green pop out against these yellowish browns. I just thought it fit really well, and I thought it was super cute. Um, and then here, I do sign the piece, but I add a little bit more to it, because like I've said in the past, I'm trying my best to remember to add line weight differentiation for my dragons because I don't want them to look flat. And one of the easiest ways to make a design like more three-dimensional or for basically the viewer to see what's coming closer to them, like compared to what's further away is to add line variation. So I remembered it at the very last minute because I was just so into coloring and just drawing this guy overall. And then I noticed just the browns really blended with each other. So I was like, all right, let's hit those front legs, give them some like thicker lines and let's get that head to pop out a little more. So I added just a little bit extra detail with those lines here at the end. And there we have it. We are all done with this potato dragon. I thought this was super fun and I can't wait to see what you guys make. I think there's actually a lot of ways you could design a potato dragon, but let's go ahead and look into last week's Aries dragon. So Akami Ellie, I really love the fire concept. Like I saw all of you talking about like war dragons and like fire, like being uh, combined with Ares. And I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? And yours is really cool. It looks like a really awesome black sheep with crazy flames. Really love the design. And Creative Kata, sorry if I butchered your username, I really like your concept. I think the little baby sheep dragon or Aries dragon looks very cute. And then your larger one, I love the horn design you did and how you handled like the fur texturing on top of this dragon, along with your wings are really awesomely colored. Great work, both of you. And everyone, really amazing work. There was so much diversity with these Aries dragons. It was adorable because like, there were some really cute ones. There were some really like intense and crazy ones. There was some more like war type Ares dragons and some that leaned into the fire aspect. So many cool concepts. And I'm like, man, I should have researched a little bit more because wow, there was so much I could have pulled from Ares. And this is just so awesome, great work. So if you guys wanna submit a potato dragon for the dragon video in two weeks, go ahead and post your dragons under the hashtag KM100Dragons on either Twitter or Instagram, and uh, just try to have them up the Thursday before the Friday. These are released um, around like 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's usually the best for me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, join our little community of monster and dragon nerds. And I would also appreciate if you checked out my Patreon. Um, we're gonna be having some exclusive stuff every month. I think this is gonna come out right when the turn of the month is happening. So if you wanna get any of the August exclusives, go check out my Patreon. And anyway, thank you guys again for stopping by and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.